Hey there, and welcome back to Utility Sports. Today we'll be covering uh, Bam Adebayo's recently signed rookie max extension. Uh, this is obviously a really big deal, um, not only because, one, he gets paid, uh, and he's a really good player for the Miami Heat, but, two, this really uh, affects how the 2021 free agency uh, period could shape up. Obviously, uh, Bam Adebayo extending here now already locks up his contract for the 2021-2022 uh, season. Uh, which is really important because that is the salary cap space that the Miami Heat would have used to uh, lock up uh, and add Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, so this does actually affect this move. This makes uh, it a lot harder for the Miami Heat to really take in a max level player at that point. Ultimately, what they would need to do is actually they would need to, um, at that point, accept the team options on Goran Dragic, on Andre Iguodala, and a few other players, and then execute a sign-and-trade move uh, for Giannis Antetokounmpo, ultimately to bring him in. Uh, and then at that point, you're going to need the Milwaukee Bucks to really be willing to help you in that situation. Um, because right here, what this does is out of bio, uh, his contract being uh, guaranteed now at this point, locks him into the salary cap space rather than using bird rights on him as a, uh, after uh, extending a qualifying offer to him uh, in the summer of 2021. Uh, ultimately what the Miami Heat could have done is they could have went into this season without extending out of bio, basically told them, wink, wink, we're going to re-sign you long-term. We're going to just wait to do so um, to try and get Giannis Antetokounmpo or possibly another big name free agent. Uh, but obviously at this point, that is not what's happening. Uh, they did extend out of bio here for five year, $163 million deal uh, with the possibility of it going to 195.6 million. If he makes all NBA teams, uh, or if he, um, I believe, finishes top three in MVP voting, or uh, there's, or also takes Defensive Player of the Year honors. Those are the three triggers uh, that would uh, move him up from that 30, uh, $32.6 million a year contract up to what could be about $38.5 million a year. Uh, and obviously, this is a really big commitment for the Miami Heat. You're looking at Bam Adebayo, a guy who's just really uh, becoming uh, – a star player in his own. We've only seen him as a starter one year, obviously really, really productive year. They got him to the finals alongside Jimmy Butler. But now with this move, you're kind of looking at Adebayo and Butler being those two guys. Uh, and assuming any move that you would want to make for a third star, you'd want to keep Jimmy Butler. Uh, that really puts a lot of pressure and strain here on the Miami Heat uh, to really get a deal done with a player like Giannis Antetokounmpo, like I was saying about the qualifying offer. Uh, they could have let Adebayo go. They would have been able to match any contract if he did sign elsewhere uh, and bring him back for probably cheaper than this five years, 163 as well. Uh, if he did want to leave and ultimately uh, to now they're just really strapped uh, because Adebayo on bird rights could have came back in on the same exact deal this summer uh, after they had made a move for a player like Giannis Antetokounmpo. But now uh, this extension uh, really, really makes it tough for Miami. I, I honestly don't see it possible that Giannis Antetokounmpo will end up being a Miami Heat after this because uh, you're going to need the Milwaukee Bucks to help facilitate that. And the Milwaukee Bucks have no reason to want to help the Miami Heat in uh, a chase for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Ultimately, now we're looking at teams like uh, the Milwaukee Bucks as the lead dog probably to retain Giannis. Obviously went out and got Drew Holiday this year, uh, made a couple other improvements uh, on their roster. Uh, and you're also looking at a team like the Dallas Mavericks, a team that at this point uh, they'll have Luka Doncic yet for one more year after this next season. Uh, so they don't even have to worry about the rookie maximum extension quite yet. And that's exactly how this out of bio thing could have worked out. They essentially, the heat could have essentially signed out of bio to that same contract uh, on what would have been July 3rd or 4th after Giannis had already signed uh, and would have been able to go over the salary cap doing so since they have bird rights on him as they drafted him and have had him for four years. But now at this point, you're looking at uh, something that's going to be quite a bit more difficult. And, and the Dallas Mavericks are going to be a team that they're going to get off James Johnson this year after just acquiring him. Uh, they're going to, uh, obviously, Wesley Awundu is a, a minimum guy. They can move him anywhere in the league they'd want. Uh, they could move uh, – you already saw them move uh, Seth Curry this year for Josh Richardson, an expiring contract that they'll have bird rights on to retain after. Uh, so you could see Giannis really going there. And also a team to watch is the L.A. Clippers. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are both expiring this year. Uh, and that's exactly how this could work for them, too. If uh, With the two of them out uh, in free agency, 
the Clippers will have actual cap space to go make a move, and that could be Giannis Antetokounmpo, and then they could use bird rights to retain both Kawhi Leonard and, obviously, Paul George, a player whose bird rights they uh, acquired in the trade for him. And at that point, you're looking at a a really unstoppable big three. Uh, Also, depending on what Anthony Davis does with the Lakers, there could be some money open there. LeBron James has a player option he could opt out of uh, to open up some of that cap space and then come back on bird rights again. Uh, So here, I just think that the the Miami Heat kind of made a mistake uh, committing to Bam out of bio this quickly. Obviously, a really, really good player. Don't get me wrong. I think Bam out of bio is going to be one of the best uh, centers in the league for the next five to ten years. But they could have managed this the exact same way, uh, but just by waiting, they could have given him the same contract. And instead, they uh, went quickly. Obviously, it's good because you want Adebayo to be happy. Uh, And the important thing here to to note is I believe Bam Adebayo and Giannis Antetokounmpo have the same agent. So it's uh, a little surprising to me uh, that the agent there would want Adebayo to ink this. Obviously, you know, he wants his, his player to get paid in case Adebayo got injured. But at the same time, if Giannis was seriously considering the Miami Heat, this move probably would have gotten pushed back. So that is the surprising aspect to me. Let us know down in the comments below what you think will happen with the Giannis Antetokounmpo uh, rumors. Obviously, a lot of different directions he could go. Uh, Milwaukee is definitely an option. I don't want to rule them out in this whole thing. Uh, and make sure to like and subscribe as well. Uh, we're trying to push out as much content for you guys. Uh, and we're really excited for the SNBA offseason. We'll have an offseason grades uh, coming out later for uh, free agency. So make sure to stay uh, tuned for that. Hit that notification bell. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.